All right, we're making uh, pizza dough today. I already got my water warmed up. Uh, I'm looking for 110, but that's close enough for me. That's about 30 seconds in the microwave for, on my microwave, I've, I've done some checking. Uh, it tried different times, and that's pretty close for me. If I do a double batch, I do uh, you know full, a full, uh, full minute. So for my single batch, I'm gonna use one tablespoon of sugar. That's him, sugar's good. We're gonna get some yeast. I'm using, uh, well, that's the container anyways. I don't know if that's what the yeast actually is, but I usually buy it in bulk and store it in this. Uh, this is gonna take, I'm gonna give it a quick stir. Get that sugar broke up. Uh, this is just gonna be one, uh, one te uh, two teaspoons of yeast. I'm gonna let that start proofing. Or not proofing, there's a word for it. I just let it sit there for a little bit. And yeah, you're supposed to let it do a certain amount for certain times and you know, do that. Do it, do it the way you're supposed to. Don't do it the way I do it. Okay. So we're gonna let that sit for over here for a second. Um, so my recipe, oh, this is dangerous. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna lift the camera and show you. I tape my recipe right there. That's my recipe. Looking in my pantry, don't look in there. That's that's private. So you know, pizza pie crust times three. Well, that's if you do the double stuff. So I'm doing a single right here for one pie. That's one large pie. Uh, you double it, you make three medium pies or four, however you want to do it. But that's this is my interpretation of looking at a bunch of recipes and doing a lot of experimentation. This is what I do. Feel free to borrow it. You know, if someone asks you why your pizza tastes so good, you can just say elf shells. So. We're doing the two one one. That's two teaspoons dry yeast, uh, one cup of 110 degree water. You know, here's my little 30 second one minute thing. Your microwave could vary. You know, the teaspoon of sugar. We're going to work on the flour now. The flour is going to be three cups of flour, two uh, tablespoons of olive oil, and one teaspoon of salt. So that's what we're going to do here on this video. You know, we're not going to really sit here for an hour and watch it proof. That's not going to happen. Oh man, look into my pantries. Jeez. How embarrassing. Get them closed. Oh, I just broke something. All right. Now that we've broke things and we've damaged stuff, take the lid off that bad boy. Dig out what we want. We don't need those. We'll set those off to the side. Okay, let's get the cord undone here. This is real life. The cords are wrapped. You don't show up to cook with your cord unwrapped. The cord is wrapped. Bring it over here. Try not to stick it in the... Uh, and whatever you call that right there, whatever that's doing, we're good. We got her up and down. Let's put a dough hook in. Got a little pin there. I don't know if you can see that or not, but we're gonna go like that and give it a twist. Test her out. We're dialed. We are dialed. What I like to do is try to get it in the back position because I'm not gonna use my flower scoop because I'm a renegade. So, flower, check. Well, it's good. We're going to do three cups. So, for me, I like to have a knife on hand. I've got, let me get this a little closer here. Make this, let's make this good. Need some light over here. There we go. I don't know if that's enough light. I'm trying here. I'm trying my best. I can use a little scoop. So, now I was taught you ladle in. There's like a drip of water in there. That ain't gonna work. Get out of there, drip of water. All right. We're gonna ladle it in. Nice and light. We don't wanna pack it. And if you wanna know why that is, don't ask me. I didn't make this rule up. This is what I was taught. Some people even go kinda absolute bonkers crazy and they sift. Well, whatever you do, do it consistent. That's what I would say. And I throw mine off to the corner because sometimes I lose count when I'm only going to three, especially going to six, because sometimes stuff happens like doorbells ring, phones ring, dog freaks out, cats freaks out, visitors freak out, you freak out, something freaks out, and you may not got all your, uh, your stuff counted. And if you just dump it in willy nilly you're not gonna know where you were in your count even though you're only counting to like i don't know three or six so my first one i threw there this other one i'm gonna throw over here on that side and when i look in i can definitely tell there's two been put in there i can tell you probably can't tell i can tell 
Man, I'm gonna run out of flour. That's how you know this is a real cooking show. <laughs> I got more in the freezer. Oh man. We're doing this right? We're doing three, right? Yeah, three, three cups. This is actually, I'm doing an experiment today. I wanna start looking into freezing my, my uh, pizza dough. So I want to start cooking pizzas in my wood fire stove and I want to have frozen dough on hand so I can just like, you know, pop it out and get it going. So today I'm going to make, make up some dough and uh, divide it out into small because the, the wood fire stove is, is smaller and it doesn't, it doesn't fit like full size pizzas. All right. So there's our flour. We're going to put our salt in. Well, unfortunately, all I have on hand right now is rock salt. So we're going to have to hand grind some salt to make this happen so let's let's get that going it's the maid's week off and she was supposed to pick up salt so you know the, the sad life that i have i don't have rock salt on hand so we're going to try to get as much as we can in there and some people might say yeah that's a lot of salt but guess what salt makes things taste good you know, I messed with the salt content. I added more, added less, and what I determined was this was a good amount of salt. Let's see if I can get some of that, some of that into this little little thing here. Nothing happen. Ooh, we're almost there. That's a teaspoon. And I might not do a full teaspoon, but. My experience has been, if I do this recipe exactly like I, I, I uh, you know, have it written down. So I'm going to eyeball that. That plus that is going to be what I want. I'm going to kind of sprinkle that a boot. You know, I want that dispersed. Because I don't want a big salty spot. Let me just give it a little quick dry mix in there. A little mixy, mix, mixy, mix, mixy, mix, mixy, mix, 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 mix. Ooh, let's check out this. How's this doing? That looks like something's starting to happen in there. That's that's a thing. I'm, I can't, there's a word for it. I'm sure you're smarter than me. You know it. There's a special time you're supposed to do it. You're supposed to time that. Yeah, I don't do that. This is what I do. I did that for a little bit. And I'm going to mix this up now because that's about to go in there. That's what I do. And uh, you can scream. You can scream at your, your monitor right now. I'm like, no! Well, yeah, I am doing it wrong, but I'm doing it, so deal with it. Just because I'm doing it wrong doesn't mean it's not getting done. All right, here we go. We've got our fancy, uh, if you never saw this review, this is a Wi-Fi enabled uh, lifestyle bottle that, uh, no app. They forgot to make the app for it. So, but it makes really nice, uh, you know, it's a nice dis dis uh, dispenser. So I'm using, obviously, olive oil because that's delicious. We're going to do two teaspoons of olive oil. And I'm just going to, like a like a renegade... Did I say teaspoon? I meant tablespoon. Get that out of there. We're just going to go renegade style on this. It's, like, oh man, it's hard for me to see. I'm using my new phone to film all this. Well, I used to have a monitor when I, well, I don't, not that I used to. When I film with my GoPro, I have a monitor. When I film with my phone, there's no monitor. Well, there is, but it's on the back side of the camera. And to see the back side of the camera requires a little bit of effort. Okay, olive oil is good. We're gonna do it like that. Close our lid. If normally I have a thing here. We're just gonna use this for our thing. That's where our thing goes. Cause we're gonna use olive oil in the bowls and stuff too, which I just realized I didn't get out. So that's gonna suck for this video, but whatever. Oh, making a mess already. So let's go ahead and get that guy up, get him locked in and start this little stir action there. Yeah, let's go counter, why not? It's got a little lip, that's nice. Limited area. We're just gonna go in, here we go. Did that proof long enough? I don't know if proof's the right word. I don't know what it is. There's a, there's a special word for it that's involved when you uh, do what I just did, and I don't know if I did it long enough. Let's see if we can get this down in there. Let's get that thing mixing. Let's do this. You got that close enough? Can you guys see what's happening in there? Just light in there. Just light adjusted. It's working it. It's catching it from the edges. Slowly. Now, sometimes you got to manipulate that by hand, get, get a hold of it, do something with it. Is that too fast? I don't know. Maybe it's not fast enough. 
Could be too fast. Looks like it's too fast. Let's, let's slow down a little bit. It's kind of coughing flour all over the world. Oh, now let's get in there. So my next steps are going to be uh, cover it, let it raise for one hour, punch it down, divide it. 20 minutes after that, you're eating. I do do a little handwork on this because uh, that's who I am. I like to knead dough. And I'll show you that technique. Sometimes I'll do this. Sometimes I'll lower that bowl. Let that dough come off the dough hook. Bring it back up. That's what I do. It's probably wrong. We're just about there. That's I would say that's just about where I want to be. I'm going to do one more release down. How about that? How about that? So real quick, I'm going to grab a little... Well, let's reposition. Let's get our get our angle right here. Let's just throw a little flour out, just because you know I saw that on a TV show once. Let's grab this. Let's grab this dough out. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, it's nice. It's nice. It's kind of sticky. Might be a little light on flour. We'll we'll fix that. So we're gonna add a little flour to that so it doesn't stick to my hands. And uh, so. Two types of kneading in life. There's uh, food kneading and there's clay kneading. Well, when you knead clay, you're getting air out. When you knead dough, you're adding air in. So I do a thumb punch, push it in, thumb punch, push it in. I'm trying to encapsulate. And I'm, I'm just kind of mashing it around and get a little... Am I getting that? You see what I'm doing here? I'm gonna get that powder back in there. Let's do a thumb punch and a fold. We're doing a we're doing a punch and fold. We're folding layers in. We're building character. And we're getting it. We're making it a thing. It's a living thing. How's that looking? Flip it over. Look at the back. Ooh, terrible. You don't want that. Close that up. Get that closed. Because that's gonna make it raise like a beautiful living creature that's a that's alive right there now unfortunately like a total fool i don't have my bowl to let it float up so i gotta walk away and go grab it total amateur move i know but when you're an amateur you make amateur moves we're gonna want a little little olive oil in there trust me you're gonna want that in there so what I do next, I'm gonna put him in there. I'm gonna give him the old swiggly wiggly. I'm gonna flip him over. Give him the old swiggly wiggly. Is it all good? Is it all covered in a little bit of olive oil? That's nice. All right, we're 13 minutes in. That's done. That's probably 10 minutes of work, three minutes of me extra jabbering. That dough is just gonna sit there for an hour. That's gonna float up. I'm gonna punch that thing down. I'm gonna do my thing with it, re-knead it back up into a nice ball, let it rise for 20 more minutes, and then at that point, you're cooking, you're freezing, whatever you're doing. So that's me and my dough. That's how I do it. And uh, I've had pretty good results. People are pretty happy with this dough. They they freak out. I've been told to start a pizza business, and I don't want to make pizza for a living, so sorry. Um, yeah, I'm not definitely not going to do that. <laughs> I'll eat my own pizza, and if you know me, Stop by when I make it. You're going to have a slice. But, uh, yeah, I'm not going into business. But I am sharing this with the world because it is a really good pizza dough. And I'm not a selfish uh, piece of shit. So, yeah, if you follow those instructions, you're going to have a good result when you're done. So do that. Give me one of these. Maybe a sub. Sub's cool. Whatever. Stay safe.